Here are the latest news and updates about the Chicago Bears moving from Soldier Field to Arlington Heights. The Arlington Heights Village Board will conduct a public review of the Bears' redevelopment plans for Arlington Park this fall. This is a requirement before the team closes on the property. According to Arlington Heights Mayor, they just need preliminary stadium plans. The Bears president and CEO Ted Phillips also shared that they hope to move forward with turning the property into a wonderful destination site. He says, but we're excited it could be an entertainment destination with multiple facets to it that I think could really help put Arlington Heights on the map as a destination spot. The Bears' new stadium reportedly a mixed-use development with residential, commercial, retail, and entertainment districts. The team owner also deposited $125,000 with the village to pay for necessary consultant studies that the village would conduct regarding the proposal. Chicago Bears Stadium in Arlington Heights could get public help through the Arlington Heights government. Another point that will bring the Chicago Bears move to fruition is the public help from the Arlington Heights government. After initially reducing taxpayers' subsidies for the proposed Chicago Bears Stadium, Mayor Tom Haynes is open to limited public aid for the project. Mayor said people would love to see bears come, but they don't want their property taxes to increase and they don't want traffic nightmares. We want to look at what their needs and our capabilities are and balance the two. This public support could come from a TIF district or another local tax district that would use the site's property taxes to pay for roads, sewers, and other infrastructure. With a deal with the Chicago Bears set to close by early 2023, Arlington Heights residents should expect a public hearing before the end of the year. On the other hand, Chicago Mayor Lightfoot is exploring other options for Soldier Field as the Chicago Bears prepare to leave. Chicago's Lightfoot creates a working group to consider the future of Soldier Field. Then Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot created a working group to recommend new uses for Soldier Field and the rest of the 57-acre Lakeview Museum campus. The 23-person group is under the helm of Maziro SEO Richard Price and they aim to draw year-round tourism to the Shed Aquarium, the Field Museum, and the Adler's Planetarium, and McCormack Place as well. Given that the Bears move to Arlington Heights was a factor in the creation of the working group, the baseball team does not have a representative in the working group. Cabrera Capital CEO Martin Cabrera will serve as the group's athletic facilities lead. Metropolitan Planning Council SEO Darlene Hightower will be transit access lead. Openland CEO Gerald Alderman will be space and recreation lead and Chicago Culture Affair Commissioner Michelle T. Boone will be cultural amenities lead. This group will work with the city departments and local aldermen. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's working group on July 7 released a proposal report on Soldier Field improvements. This include a dome installation, stadium renovation, multiple upgrades to Northern Lee Island, and a pedestrian bridge over the harbor. Land expansion, a new concert venue on the north side of Soldier Field, a Bears tailgate plaza, a trolley line, and other new transit art installation, and outside areas such as Solidarity Drive along the stadium. The city plans this, keeping in mind also that Soldier Field is home to a major league soccer team, the Chicago Fire. But the group's recommendations are unfeasible in Chicago. Most propositions would violate ordinances created by the Park District, disrupt veterans group who's responded to changing the name of the stadium, and cost taxpayer millions, if not near a billion dollars. Chicago and Illinois officials are skeptical of giving state funding for the Chicago Bears move. Lastly, the election has fertile ground for skepticism in funding Chicago Bears move to Arlington Heights. The Daily Herald said that there is a unanimous no from downstate conservative Republican to Democratic government J.B. Pritzker. Here are some of their options on this matter. If the Bears want to move to Arlington Heights, they are free to do so, but it is not the responsibility of taxpayers to fund the move. Republican State Senator Darren Bailey of Xenia said. As a state, Illinois has a terrible track record of government handouts for private enterprises, and the taxpayers of Illinois have taken a back seat for long enough, governor, candidate, and venture capitalist Jess Sullivan said. McHenry County business owner Gary Rabin said, no unless the citizens of Arlington Heights 
and or the state of Illinois vote on the funding mechanisms. I believe in free markets. I believe the less government intervention in the private sector marketplace, the better. And the government should not be in the business of picking winners and losers, he said. And the current Governor Pritzker said, we are not currently considering using public funds for a new stadium. As a private enterprise, the team is entitled to make a decision that are best for them. And I hope they can continue to engage with the Chicago city government and work out their differences. Practically speaking, the Chicago Bears are on track to moving from Soldier Field to Arlington Heights. They are currently making their due diligence process in preparation for the public review and the Arlington Heights Village Board. And the Chicago city government is also working on the new future of Soldier Field without the Chicago Bears. So what do you think about the Chicago Bears set to move and redevelop Arlington Heights into a sports destination site? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and as always, where's your future?